all fans and netizens alike. This is Jason W. Chan, novelist and storyteller, and news commentator. This is Jason W. Chan's take on the news. Today we will talk about UFOs. Now this has been something that is quite interesting to me. Several hundred UFO reports received by Pentagon's new tracking office. All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office was set up to track unidentified objects in the sky, underwater, or in space. Now, UFOs doesn't necessarily mean aliens, right? It just means unidentified flying object. It's Maybe it's unidentified because we don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like a weather balloon or like a plane, man-made plane. Or maybe it is an alien. Who the hell knows? A new Pentagon office. set up to track reports of unidentified flying objects, has received several hundred new reports, but no evidence so far of alien life. The All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office was set up in July and is responsible for not only tracking unidentified objects in the sky, but also underwater or in space, or potentially an object that has the ability to move from one domain to the next. The office was established following more than a year of attention on unidentified flying objects that military pilots have observed, but have sometimes been reluctant to report due to fear of stigma. In June 2021, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence reported that between 2004 and 2021, there were 144 such encounters, 80 of which were captured on multiple sensors. Since then, we've had lots more reporting, said Anomaly Office Director Sean Kirkpatrick. When asked to identify, or to quantify rather, the amount, Kirkpatrick said several hundreds. And updated report from the Director of National Intelligence that will provide specific figures on news reports received since 2021 is expected by the end of the year, the official said. Oh, well, that's a lot. The office was set up not only to examine the question of whether there is extraterrestrial life, but also the security risk posed by so many encounters with unknown flying objects by military installations or military aircraft. This May, Congress held its first hearing in more than half a century on the topic, with members expressing concern that whether or not the objects are alien or potentially new technology being flown by China, Russia, Russia, or another potential adversary, the unknown creates a security risk. And that's true. It's true that we did try to send something out there to examine the question of whether there is extraterrestrial life. That is a SETI project somewhere in California, I believe. There is an observatory. I was reading about this. It's called the Search for extraterrestrial intelligence st or seti and i believe that some of us have expressed concern that we should not be looking for the, the aliens because if they are technologically advanced enough to actually receive our signals then they are much more advanced than we are therefore we might get destroyed by them i mean looking back in history and I am an avid history buff. It was my minor back in college, in university. And I know that every time when an advanced civilization comes into contact with a less advanced civilization, the less advanced one ends up getting destroyed. Look at the Aztecs encounter with the conquistadors of Spain. Look at the Incan encounters, right? The Incans, when they encountered Spain, Francisco Pizarro, his name was, the conquistador, Francisco Pizarro, ended up destroying modern Peru, the Incan Empire. Same with uh, Montezuma, emperor of the Aztecs, right? His civilization was taken down by what? Damn, what's the name of that guy? Hernan Cortes, the explorer. I'm not conquistador. He ended up holding the <laughs> emperor, the Montezuma, Montezuma, emperor of the Aztecs, 
holding him hostage. And then with what I heard, what several hundred cannons, horses, and lots of disease, because the natives didn't have immunity, natural immunity to European diseases like smallpox and syphilis and all that. Anyway, I'm not sure which one is what, because there was one disease that the natives ended up transmitting over to Europeans. I think it was civil, syphilis. Anyway, whatever it was, it doesn't really matter. But uh, the point is, we'll get, probably, very likely, get destroyed if we encounter advanced civilization. So maybe it's not a good idea to send out signals. Anyway, so far we have not seen anything, and we're still very early on. That would lead us to believe that any of the objects that we have seen are of alien origin said the Undersecretary of Defense for Intelligence and Security. Any unauthorized system in our air airspace we deem as a threat to safety. Ah, this, the office is also working on ways to improve its ability to identify unknown objects, such as recalibrating sensors that may be focused just on known adversary aircraft or drone signatures. Hmm, interesting. Beyond unidentifiable objects, new technology, oh, could be mistaken for a UFO. I see. Interesting. Well, I think that this universe is huge, that there is definitely more out there than what meets the eye. Anyway, here are some related articles. What is this? Is this Roswell? Rachel, Nevada. Well, I actually went to the nuclear museum, nuclear power museum in, in Las Vegas, in Nevada. I lived there for one summer. It was two, three months in Vegas. It was, I remember, the rolling mountains, the sunset. It was actually very gorgeous. Much nicer than Vancouver, where I grew up. As you can tell, I'm not a huge fan of my own hometown. But then again, who is? What was this here? Something's coming. Is America finally ready to take UFOs seriously? Wow. What's this one down here? Out of this world revelations in short supply at U.S. Congress briefing on UFO. So there was actually a, a briefing here. Deputy Director of Naval Intelligence, Scott Bray. Military admits to being less than forthcoming as amateurs and senators say government should take the issue more seriously. The U.S. Congress held its first open briefing on UFOs in more than 50 years on Tuesday, but those seeking explanations for the numerous military sightings of unexplained objects were left disappointed as defense officials appeared to hold their juiciest information for closed-door hearings. Oh, well, that's a shame. During a 90-minute briefing in Washington, a highlight was the release of two new videos showing unidentified aerial phenomena. Although one of them was immediately debunked. The hearing, the first of its nature since 1966, came after a bumper year for UFO enthusiasts. In 2021, U.S. intelligence released a landmark report which found... 144 reports of unidentified aerial phenomenon, only one of which could be explained. Oh, wow. So there's lots more out there. Huh? The report followed U.S. pilots publicly discussing their encounters with UAPs. He saw objects in the sky above the East Coast every day for at least a couple of years. Well, that's a little spooky there. Okay, let's see. What are some juicy parts here? I can't read it all aloud because it might bore you. All right. Another clip recorded at night from a military plane at some time in 2019 showed triangle shapes appearing to hover in the sky. Bray then played another video that captured the same phenomena, but followed it up with a mundane explanation. The objects were drones, rendered triangular in shape and other otherworldly in motion because of a quirk in the way video was captured through night vision equipment. So a uh, technology thing, a technical issue then. Hmm. Lots of UFOs, huh? Maybe all the aliens will land soon. Who the hell knows? Well, I've seen War of the Worlds. I've also seen uh, Signs. So I hope it's not going to be like that. Huh? I am currently writing Volume 4 and 5 of the Dika series. 
it's going to be about the apocalypse in a post-apocalyptic world. I don't think I'm going to use aliens, but I might. Who knows? I mean, let's see where my imagination takes me. Hmm. All right. This is a very long article. In either case, what do you guys think of UFOs? Are aliens, do they exist? Are aliens out there? Is this universe really big? I'm pretty sure they are out there. I mean, however, whether or not they are more advanced than us, that remains to be seen. Life on Earth, how long? How long has life existed on Earth? Many millions. But humanity has been around for only 250,000 years. So I think that there is life on Earth. I also think that we are probably the most advanced. Knock on wood, who the hell knows? But if we're not the most advanced species out there, then you better hope. You better hope that the aliens, the more advanced aliens, come in peace. Otherwise, they might just destroy us, like in War of the Worlds. Or enslave us. What is that? There are so many alien movies. There's one that depicts aliens coming to Earth and then enslaving us, using us for as a source of cheap labor. I don't remember what it was. Anyway, what do you guys think? This is Jason W. Chan, and this has been Jason W. Chan's take. Leave your comments below, and as usual, keep pursuing your dreams and passions, because life is way too short not to. Your life can be over in the blink of an eye. And I'm very glad that I didn't waste my life. I live in Asia now, and I'm really happy to be here. I'm very grateful to be here. Because I really feel like I fit in here. It's a land of my ancestors after all, and I'm fluent in several Asian languages. In fact, I work as an interpreter online. So I'm grateful to be able to live each day on my own terms now. And of course, to pursue my passion of storytelling. I love you all. And thank you for listening. Keep pursuing your passions. Never give up. Because it is only when you're pursuing your passion that you feel like you're not wasting a single day. Otherwise, you feel like it's been wasted. And then what? What are you left with? Talk to you later.